Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 26 of World of DVC Show. My name is British Hill, and I'm the president of Be Our Guest Vacations. I hope you stick around. This is going to be a blast. We have lots of prizes and tons of fun right here on the show today. Oh, so, hey, British. Oh, hey, Derek. Hi. We are so excited you're here from thank Be Our Guest Vacations. Yes, thank so, you. So listen, I've got a trip coming up, and I need help. <laughs> Am I booking this? Thing at 60 days or 90 days out. When is the Genie Fast Pass dining plan is coming in here? I'm confused. Please tell me that you and Be Our Guest Vacations can help me. Okay, I definitely can feel your frustration. We will take care of you, Derek. Do this. Go to BeOurGuestVacations.com. We'll take care of you from there. Bless you. <laughs> Stick around, guys. Daddy, look a giraffe. gentlemen you are now entering the world of dvc the ultimate dvc destination where magical vacations meet incredible value through exceptional service put in your headphones turn the volume up sit back relax and step into the world of dvc just for show and start. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this well-oiled machine no, that we have well called the World machine. of DVC show. Yeah, it took us right before we went on the air. We're like, "What number show is this?" And we're all frantically looking through our phones. Going, I think it's 25, 27? 27? twenty-five. Twenty-seven. It's twenty-six. Episode twenty-six. Welcome I everybody know. to episode number twenty-six. It feels like we've been away for a long time. It does. I know. We packed a lot in. We packed we a did. few episodes in. Mm -hmm. What was it? April, May. Yeah. Because yeah. May was. I don't know about you all oh. or the rest of y'all, but <laughs> May was insane. And it's funny, yeah. I saw it on Instagram. Somebody put a, like a meme out that was like, it's may Sember. It's may And without yes. like Christmas at the end, <laughs> yes, like, it's yes. without the benefit of like a celebration. <laughs> right. It's it is. just freaking insane. It was crazy. It was 31 <laughs> days of mayhem. Yes. I don't know that June has settled down much, no. but... No. Not much, but maybe July will be a little bit, no. maybe a little bit quieter. So we haven't seen each other in a long no. time. No, we haven't seen each other for a long time. <laughs> we're just going to say, we're like, I haven't seen you forever. Yeah, I think I did say that when I saw you. We did. Yeah. We did, because it's been crazy. You look we've a had, little taller. We've had graduation parties. We've had <laughs> yeah. uh, parties for your son, a graduation yes. party, a high school graduation yep. party for my son. Yep. We went to Key West in Florida on vacation. We hit up Disney World. Right. We had house guests. We've had... So much stuff. And on top of that, of course, never a dull moment in the world of DVC, True breaking story. news, and mm -hmm. everything else. So we are glad to be back. Yes. This is very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. We have a fun, jam-packed show for you today. We have the one and only oh my British Hill is oh. going to be coming. Now, you might be wondering, well, I don't know who that is. You will. <laughs> <laughs> you, you Not just only will wait. you get to know who she is, you will absolutely fall in love with her. She is one of my favorite people from Disney, from DVC, and just in life. British is what I call good energy. Mm -hmm. She's 100%. just like the energy walks in the room, and then British walks in, and then the energy follows her. Like she's just pure sunshine. And I then I her. walk in and I snap it all out. <laughs> With your, with, your, with your missing key on your keyboard. keyboard. He just shared with us that he typed so hard that a key flew off of his keyboard. So any, if anyone knows how to fix that without using super glue. True fact. True fact. So it's great seeing everybody. See Thank you. you all for tuning in. It's great to see Jeff again. We've done, God, you guys even did tapings at outside remote tapings. Well, that's the thing. We've been We've kind been of tip. all over from. Yeah, and tune in next episode because yeah. we're going to share all of that with you. So fun. But it's been crazy. Yeah. We did... 
the VIP tour. Uh, the VIP tour, yep. Yeah. And Adam. we'll do a whole episode and mm-hmm. show you guys, because I was going to try to pack it into mm-hmm. like one, yeah. but we're going to no. do multiple. So just yeah. wait. This summer is going to be so much fun because yeah. I have so many episodes coming out. Yep. Um, but we did a VIP tour, the yep. three of us plus mm-hmm. a few more members on our team. That was awesome. If you ever well, wondered what it's like, you know, when you see the people in the park with kind of the plaid vests and yeah, they're taking people yeah. on a VIP tour and you think, God, that looks so awesome, but there's no way oh, that I really can is. afford it. Or we're going to show oh, you. It's so worth it. You can. Yeah. And, and I well, mean, Tom Brady just did it. So if you oh. want to be like Tom Brady, <laughs> tune Marissa, in. Marissa and I were like, where do we meet? Where is he at? But we do we know the tour do guide? Do we know the tour guide? Exactly. We, we might, might, might or may not have tried to stock a little bit, but it didn't end up it getting was so out. so much fun. But we also... Um, toured the and stayed in the Grand Villa at the Grand Floridian yeah. Yeah. to start the great the VIP tour. So we were a little we were kind of bushy. Oh All yeah. Over. And then the week yeah. after that we went to the Anna Maria. Anna Beach Maria House. Island. Amazing. <laughs> right. And then I went back and stayed and there you for went family back and vacation. Stayed. Yes, we missed you for that taping, by the way. <laughs> we had Paul Krieger step in and Paul's really upset that you weren't able to to do that episode. Well, we yeah. were able to do it last year and I loved it and I'm glad yeah. that you guys were able to go back, to go back and awesome. do it all over again. Yeah. So yeah, it's just been a jam packed month so we're so excited just to be back in our little home away from home over yep. there with Jeff and everybody so we have a fantastic show planned for today lots of Disney updates mm-hmm. uh, but before I even get into it, I just want to say one time that I went to Disney World last Friday spur of the moment went to Epcot so that's one of the cool things about Love when it. you live mm-hmm. here is yep. just being able to say you know what let's go to Epcot yeah let's leave the house at like one o'clock we'll be in the parking lot by like 120 yep. park walk around the countries it was just a perfect day. I love the Flower Garden Festival, I think, is it's there's gorgeous. no prettier time to visit Epcot than the Flower and Garden Festival. So it was it was fantastic. They had a band there playing yeah. Vertical Horizon, if you've never heard of them. I cannot think of the song off the top of my head, Vertical but I was Horizon. frantically Googling yes. it. I was like, who is that band? I know the is band. Is that what you sent to us? Yes. Okay, I'd never heard of the band, but I, I knew the either. song. She's everything you want. She's, oh, she's everything, everything you need. need. Look that one up. Everything That's a good song. Of you, of you that you wish you could be. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> we are for hire. We, I hope we didn't the lose world people DVD listening. Man. <laughs> yeah, we lost Such our mind. A good song. Lost yes. our mind. It's but, funny because I was also at Epcot, but prior, a couple weeks prior, it was Memorial Day weekend. My niece came down. She's 19. She's from Delaware. She's a college kid. She's awesome. And so she's like, Auntie Carrie, can I come visit for the weekend? I said, of course you can. Well, so she came down and we did everything, all the things Disney. And this child had me up and running. Park open to park close, which I don't do that anymore. No. That's a long that's a long day, so kudos to y'all if you if you still do that. It is crazy. But we were at Epcot. This child? Or I thought well, she's she was 19. 19. <laughs> but she's still like a child to me, I know. She's so cute. She's a young adult. She's going to be a doctor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome. Super smart. But anyway, so so we go to, we go to, um, we did Lightning Lane for Tron. Mm-hmm. No, no, Virtual Q for Tron and Guardians, which I hadn't really done that in a long time. Yeah. Not as hard as I remember it to be, first oh, of nice. all. R- worked out great. But then Lightning Lane, I don't know if y'all knew this, and maybe our listeners knew this, and I'm the last one on board with Lightning Lane and Genie Bless. <laughs> Probably. Did you know that they're the same thing? I had no idea. So I asked a cast member. I said, how do I buy? I want to buy Lightning Lane. Because there's some things at Magic Kingdom. It's Memorial Day weekend. We want to maximize our time. Right. So he said, well, you don't need to buy Lightning Lane. You buy Genie Plus. And then, but not every uh, ride. Not, not every, every ride. ride. Is, but they are separate. Correct. But then Lightning Lane is the lane you go down. Oh, yeah, the same. Oh, you know, see, same I had no queue. idea. Okay, Marissa, fine. So I had no idea that that was the thing <laughs> until the nice cast You just paid like 25 kids. bucks to ride truck. It has a different <laughs> name because you pay more. <laughs> so the cast and I are in full agreement. That shouldn't be. It should just be Genie Plus and Genie Lane. Yeah. 100%. Or, right? Okay, so anyway. They okay. made it very confusing. They did and I remember, make it like, when it first. I I did ask those questions when it first came out because yeah. I was like I th- I think I did too. Explain it to me God. like yeah. I'm a kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, like I don't understand. Like a nineteen. This. <laughs> exactly. Well, she she got it, of course. Of course. But it was so much fun. But we were at Epcot, yeah. the flower gar- flower and garden. I think it's like Garden Rocks or something over at yeah. the American Garden Theater. And so we're in Japan, and she's we're talking about like what we're going to do next. And all of a sudden, I hear this voice, and I said, Oh my gosh, I think I know who that is. I'll be right back. So I run, and it was Rick's 
uh, Rick Springfield. Oh, <laughs> sure. Do you know who Rick yeah. Springfield is? Yeah. No, Marissa, I'm so yeah. proud of you. So Olivia <laughs> promptly says, who's that? So we have to go back to like the general hospital days and then, all, you know, Jesse's girl and this and that. So she begrudgingly stood with me. <laughs> the audience I... <laughs> is at home right now saying, for the love of God, please don't sing Jesse's girl. <laughs> we, <laughs> we might. want to. <laughs> but me and all the other ladies who swooned over him in the 80s and 90s, he's he's. He sounds good. Yeah. Nice. Sounds good. Yeah, so it was great. I saw a picture of him. He's like 85. I, I think right? he might be. I, I mean, do seriously. think he might be. I don't know, but yeah. I maybe maybe 82. I don't know. He's not young. Yeah, no. Wow. No. He's been around a long time. That's awesome. Yeah. That's but so I just fun. We had the best time at Disney, and I have to say, it just felt like, you know, we talk sometimes about post-COVID and what does it feel yeah. like, and things feel a little bit a little bit confusing or whatnot. We had the best yeah. time, best cast members. We ate at Sci-Fi Diner. I had never done that before. That was fun. Kind of one and done for me personally, but she loved it. Yeah. Um, you know, we went to uh, Mickey Minnie Runaway R- Railway. Mm-hmm. We were all over Magic Kingdom. One of my favorite things we did, though, that I encourage everybody to do is if you're going to get a snack, go sit in the little picnic areas in front of the castle mm-hmm. where the green space is. Oh. And we did that. We talked for about two and a half hours and she said, this has been the most relaxing day at Magic Kingdom. I said, it was. Mm-hmm. And we did everything we wanted to because we took that time. So it was great. It's that, been great. That's what makes it great to me is because it was just my wife and I. But yeah. we had so much fun going around the countries because we yeah. didn't have like a 14-year-old boy saying, I want to go on test track or right. I want to go right, soaring. Right. Or what. So we just got to the countries and just said, you know what? Let's just walk around China. Yeah. Like, let's go deep it. into China and look at stuff that we didn't even know existed you sent and us, go all the way to You the sent back. us the year, the, you, the mm. year you were born. It was a rat. It was, yours was a rat. <laughs> yeah. And then Marissa and I promptly said, oh, good, here's my year. Find out for us, too. And he was like, we're already in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks we a lot, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have Google a great it? year of sales <laughs> and yes, prosperity. Right. And for us, we, we have, have no idea. No idea. <laughs> yeah. But it was awesome. Carrie, you, you've done this to me a few times uh, now. Oh. Um, with, like, the Hilton Head and then I took oh, it and yeah. ran with it. Yeah. And so you had mentioned Toledo. And I was yes. like, I have been dying to go. My husband has been like, ah, tapas. I don't want to do tapas. Yeah. And But then you went, and I was like, okay. Um, I actually did, and we're going to talk to British a lot more about this, but I was able to do the travel agent tour. Mm -hmm. And so with that, we got to tour a lot of, like, the different types of rooms, which was nice because I am used to seeing so many of the DVC rooms and not the regular hotel side. Mm -hmm. So we did a day at Coronado, and I got to tour, like, some of the suites there. So nice. And they are. In the tower? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. They're really beautiful. They did a great job with it. for the prices, if you're looking to stay club level, I would highly recommend it because the nice. price is great plus you get all the club level amenities mm-hmm. so if you're a member running out of points or I know a lot of members for like Moonlight Magic mm-hmm. will book like a cash mm-hmm. room to ensure they get right. it that's the room to do it wow, in that's great. and get all the benefits of club level um, so I'll show you we, I've got a couple of videos of touring like that suite nice. I loved it they actually had one bedrooms so the one bedroom closed off and then there was a living room not a kitchen or anything mm-hmm. but for us mm-hmm. we're a family of three but we like our son to have his own space mm-hmm. so that like we can have a vacation too mm-hmm. with like privacy and stay up and watch mm-hmm. tv and so that you have a whole living room area and then your whole master bedroom nice, nice. um but while we were there we got to walk through toledo while it was empty and so i was like okay we got to come back so we came back for dinner there Toledo was on the list to possibly get like a Michelin nod. It unfortunately it didn't get mm-hmm. that, but it does have a beautiful atmosphere inside. My husband walked in and he's like, "This is like, this isn't deluxe." And right. I was like, "No, it's not deluxe. This is moderate <laughs> level." But they did such mm-hmm. a good job with like the yeah. decor. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. And yeah. that whole they've got the 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 lounge area yep. that's massive, and then you still have those gorgeous views, and then the restaurant kind of like around the corner. Yeah. I was super impressed with it. So the lounge is called Dahlia. Mm -hmm. And so they went through the history of that. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Walt Disney and Salvador Dali had a very close relationship. And they were close friends. And Dali. that's where the name came from. Yep. He did a lot of portraits of Walt Disney. And so I, when I was working on the cruise ships, I actually worked a little bit in like the art industry for a Mm -hmm. couple years. So I got to go like visit artists and see like kind of like firsthand of that experience. And I got a book when I was on board, and it's all of, like, the Disney-Dolly collaboration. Mm -hmm. And they made a whole short film, which you actually don't find anywhere but YouTube. It's kind of a strange – you know Dolly. He's very kind of all Mm -hmm. over the place. Mm -hmm. So the short film is kind of crazy, but they took it and ran with it at Coronado and inspired the whole tower based on Salvador Dolly. I didn't know that. That's amazing. I'm glad you went. 
Me too. <laughs> and, and while I was there, I got to stop and jump on the Disney Wish the day after that as oh, part of my yes. tour. Mm-hmm. Um, I will save that as its whole episode because it's amazing. Yeah. Um, but I will say it was like almost like walking back home a little bit and you still see people who you've worked with for years. Oh, wow. So I ran into my friend Robert on board. So I'll give a shout out to Robert. He is the sommelier. Sommelier, right? Yep. There's like eight different ways to say it. But he's the sommelier. That's the only way. Um, yeah, yeah, in Paulo <laughs> and Enchante on The Wish. So if anyone is on The Wish, go Robert. see Robert. Ask nice. for Robert. Tell him Marissa said hi. <laughs> He's Aww. been a close friend of mine and my husband for 15 years. So, so nice. it was so Aww. special to like get to see it, people definitely. who are like family And there. I'm sure they love to see you too because yeah. they're only in port for such a short amount of time. Yep. They're seeing the same yeah. people over and over again. So to see a friendly face has to be great too. That's yeah. awesome. So I love that. Wonderful. Fun. Yeah. See, Thanks for letting fun. me talk. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Marissa. <laughs> did Sorry do fun about stuff. that. <laughs> I, 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 did do fun. I was kind of shocked when you sent me us a picture and you were on the wish. And I'm like, wait a second. How did I miss the fact that you were going on a cruise ship? And you're like, no, I'm only here for the day. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, is we kept asking questions, but she and Marissa kept answering my question, and but not yours. If I, I think by Derek's fifth text, he's like, great. But. Why are you on a cruise ship? I'm confused. How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> it's just, oh, the text messaging. The things you do for the show. I'm right? telling you. What yeah. a Take one for the team. Yep. Yep. What a trooper. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. What I, you got? Uh, a lovely viewer, listener, wrote in, and I had to address his comment. This is Chris. Chris emailed us and said, hey. We enjoy watching you guys on the World of DVC show. We really believe, Derek, you need a bigger cup. Oh. As the ladies' bottles are always 24 <laughs> ounces or bigger, and we always <laughs> <laughs> And look at that's totally unplanned. I know. Uh-huh. 100%. So, Chris, you're exactly right. Derek. That's so funny. We know what to get you for your birthday. I do have my new Florida State mug here, but it's still I have. Yours are definitely This is only like my, what? 16 my, ounces. 16 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> ours have grown though as I because I was thinking of that earlier that like I think our first show you and I each had like a little tumbler yeah and then they've grown bigger and bigger and now to this well I think we talk so much when we need, <laughs> we need more it, water right I don't an need... hour and a half into the show I need a little <laughs> bit more something. hydration yeah. especially Carrie and I that, exactly <laughs> that's yeah. a great observation though Chris that's so funny I love this and also Jarrett who is a avid uh, viewer and listener and client of the DVC resale market wrote and we have pictures to go along with this so i have my reading glasses on because they're very cool pics he says hey i'm hooked on the show while i'm on the road for work it's amazing how many others have weaknesses like us i was working with a guy the other day and he offered to pay for lunch so he whips out his disney visa and i said oh a fellow disney nerd then find out he has an animal kingdom contract and that was it we talked for the rest of the trip all about dvc it's unreal Anyway, during the pandemic, we were missing things, so we wanted to bring a little Disney to us. We got ourselves into a playroom repaint job that was almost the death of me. (laughs) But as you can see, the pictures here, it turned out absolutely amazing. Here's a few pics. Thanks for the few hours of shows that keep me dreaming about Disney. Oh, that's I love that. What was his name? This is Jared. 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 Thank you. So, yes, thank you for sharing those pictures. It's so awesome. We just have the best best viewers and listeners in the world. So. So on that note, too, We love hearing from you. So leave a note in the comments, whether it's Jared and you're doing maybe something to kind of dream of Disney or you've done a summer trip. We know many of you have big summer trips either that you've gone on or planned for this summer or planning for next summer. And so we want to hear all about it. We love to know what you're doing when you're showing up at Disney. And so leave that in the comments. What have you done for vacation? (laughs) Like the the old school thing. What did you do on summer vacation? Exactly. What did you do on summer break? And then make sure you email us info at work worldofdbc.com we are going to give one lucky winner a hundred dollar disney gift card so make sure you are leaving that in the comments thumbs up subscribe five star review if you're listening on podcast we love the podcast Mm -hmm. reviews we could use a few more and it doesn't even have to be a disney trip yeah Yeah, any trip any trip y'all are doing out there let us know if you've already taken it let us know if you're going to take it share some ideas too right some people have some really great ideas whether you travel so far across you know across the water or something more local or I love seeing people's vacations because people are usually very creative and innovative in what they're doing. So I, share it all. I will tell you, we went to Key West, Florida for the very first time in May on vacation to celebrate all of us and our high school friends turning 50. And it was really, it was amazing. I yeah, loved it Key way West is more awesome. than I ever thought. But of course, the whole time I'm thinking, looking at these houses going, Disney really did a good job. At the uh, yeah, old the Key theming, West right? Resort. I know, I know. I mean, it's just a little bit older in yeah. Key West, but it was an amazing theming job. Yeah. So kudos. That's great. 
So how about we go around the world? Around the world. Of DBC. Where's that noise that Jeff always promised us? That <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something. The world spinning, right? The world spinning. There yes. It goes. Who wants to start? Well, I can start just real quick with DVC Rental Store. There's Perfect. not a whole lot coming up, but there is reason to take action because we'll talk about this in a minute, but it is halfway to the holidays. And so thinking now about those confirmed reservations that are out there for the DVC Rental Store, zero to seven month booking is still at $19 a point, which is amazing. So if you're it's, looking at- When you compare Disney oh, yeah. Direct pricing, in it's, a lot of scenarios, you're like 60 to 75% off it's Disney It's so pricing. true. When you, when you, exactly. If you do that comparison of what's online at you know, at DisneyWorld.com and DVC Rental Store, it's unbelievable. So if you're looking for last minute, I say last minute because you do have to kind of book soon for like food and wine festival starting next month, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Isn't food and wine starting July July now? My gosh. So like food and wine, you know, the the Halloween parties, halfway to the holidays to all of the Christmas events, holidays around the world at Epcot, it's all starting to come now. So zero to seven months, which is you're in right now for the holiday timeframe, $19 a point. And like Marissa said, do that comparison because you will be blown away at the savings at the DVC rental store. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. One great. of the cool things, too, that the DVC rental store has added is just more swap opportunities. Yes. And so one of the newest ones that they added this month was um, swapping with Sandals Resorts. Oh, so my God. So if you God, have right been looking exciting. to go to beaches or Sandals, you now have the opportunity to swap your points. And what's cool about that is as a DVC member, and we know from selling it for years, right, mm-hmm. when people would look at, like, RCI or yeah. Interval International, they would go, okay, what about the all-inclusives? And as you know, they're – the all-inclusives don't exist. And right. even if you did an all-inclusive, you have to pay the fee yeah. for the all-inclusive right. part of part it. Of it. Mm-hmm. And the fee ends up being like what it would cost to just yeah. book mm-hmm. it cash. So this is a true way that you can use your points for all-inclusive stays. So when you look at the points, that includes everything from yeah. your meals to your drinks. <laughs> I know Derek was like, <laughs> Annie and I are going. <laughs> I literally looked at some of those rates and I was like, wait a second, this is for five nights or six, six nights and it includes all all your food, yeah, and it includes all of like your adult beverages, all too, inclusive, as well. like all inclusive. Yeah. It was all it was inclusive. a crazy, yeah. crazy use of points. And yeah. so, with swaps becoming so popular, Ellie is our swap coordinator. Mm-hmm. So Ellie is the position that literally manages all of that. But what I've asked her to do is kind of give us like, hey, what's the swap of the month? What are you seeing people do the yeah. most? So Ellie's going to give us what she calls the swap of this month. Of it. Hey World of DVC show and hey DVC members, are you ready to use your points for a new and exciting vacation opportunity? My swap of the month this month has to be our cruise swap. Yes, with DVC Rental Store, you can swap your DVC points for a Disney Cruise Line vacation. And this swap has been really popular in particular because Disney just recently announced the summer 2024 itineraries and they also introduced Lighthouse Point a brand new tropical retreat located on the island of Eleuthera, and it looks beautiful. And that will begin welcoming guests next summer as well. Another popular cruise option that many DVC members have purchased have been the Alaskan cruises on the Disney Wonder for next summer as well. No matter the destination, we are happy to help you swap your points for a Disney Cruise Line vacation. And I want to show you some of the specific cruises that our members have booked and I want you to see the savings for yourself. That's awesome. Thank you, Ellie. And yeah, over at the DVC Resale Market, where you can buy and sell your Disney Vacation Club membership. I know we've stressed this for the last couple of months, uh, but we're going to stress it again. Now is the time to buy. Now is the time to buy. Every single month we are seeing prices slowly kind of creep up there, right? Mm -hmm. So it's always going to turn into a situation where people are going to say, God, why didn't I buy it back in? I wish you know, I did it June sooner. In the summer. Why didn't I buy it? Because yep. it's, it's twofold. It's right. the perfect storm. You have great prices, and you don't have to worry right now about Disney buying that contract back yeah, and the right. right of first refusal. So that's huge. Whereas this time last year, I don't know, they're buying back what, like thirty yeah. percent of all the contracts. So now you can get a great deal not have to worry about Disney buying the contract back. And we've got some amazing deals include that I know we announced it last month with a low down payment of what you can bring at closing, right? Yeah, so it's a low upfront cost. So basically with Monera Financial, 
you're able to roll in almost all of your closing costs. That's so crazy. the closing costs, once you add it to like your deposit, your down payment, then you've got closing costs and dues. So if you're able to roll in and then find a contract that maybe doesn't have dues for this year, mm -hmm. you're out of pocket. Many of these are less than $2,000 down. Right. So again, if you're looking at like, what is that next Disney vacation cost? Mm -hmm. It's going to be 2000 or more, right? Just especially to stay Definitely. deluxe. Mm -hmm. So why not take that? put it into a contract, and there's your next vacation yeah. for yep. you. And so another thing, too, that we're seeing in terms of, like, overall prices is every month those are clicking up just a bit. Mm -hmm. And so if you've been kind of on the edge saying, hey, I'm just waiting for the market to bottom out, it's done that. We're there. <laughs> we're here. We've passed it. And now is the time to take advantage. And, again, to your point, there has been no right of first refusal. But with that said, if you didn't know, and I've talked about this on a couple other episodes before, but Disney's calendar works on an October to an October mm -hmm. time frame. So typically, when they've made a decision for that calendar year, like last year, they made a very aggressive <clears throat> stance on right of first refusal. Mm -hmm. We saw that shift right when the new year shifted. Mm -hmm. So right around like September, October of last year. So if you're saying, hey, I want to get in while the prices are good – before right of first refusal starts mm -hmm. again, I would get in before end of September because mm -hmm. we don't know what's going to happen when that calendar shifts. Right. And that's usually when we start to see those changes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, funny enough, if you've ever heard of the Points Guy, which yeah, yes. famous website, yeah. I saw right? that. You sent that. They wrote a whole guy. article yeah. about the DVC resale market. So we have a, kind of a, a piece of that up on our blog if you're heading over there. But again, it, everyone's saying it. It's yeah. not just us. <laughs> you can take it from the Points Guy. Yep. Um, but it, around the world, as we go into Unlock Magic, lots mm -hmm. of exciting things there. One thing I will say, if you're not a member, like pause right now, mm -hmm. unlockmagic.com, use the code WOD. That's going to give you 30 days free. Hop on in there. Why? Because there are huge deals right now on Disney World tickets. Mm -hmm. But not just is Disney putting these deals out on tickets, mm -hmm. Unlock Magic offers an additional discount. It's the lowest you can get Disney tickets on any platform. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying, hey, we're going to be going to Disney World in the next year, you can purchase them now for all of 2024. Right. So pause the show. <laughs> <laughs> Go to unlockmagic.com. Yep. Get your yeah. deal on tickets. But while you're there... We have so many fun things going yeah. on there. Mm -hmm. We have our uh, World of DVC show, Inside Unlock Magic. Mm -hmm. Now, if you see, we've actually made our oldest version live on the website or on YouTube. So you can see our Saratoga Springs one. But if you want to see our latest one at Wilderness Lodge, which is... Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> you have to see Derek trying... What was it? Jackfruit. 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 <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, but I'm going to give you just a little sneak preview of that episode. We're just watching your movie. Where's Max at today? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't watch your movie, Donald, but you're number one, right? Always. <laughs> That'll be good for now. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right Yes. I said, Mike, why would you come to Walt Disney World when you're not going to Inside Unlock Magic. Mmm. I can still <laughs> taste it. My mouth. <laughs> Jeff was just asking and said, oh, yeah, I've had jackfruit. What it's, did you say? It's terrible. I said, it's literally a hot fruit. It's hot. It was like a hot <laughs> sliced fruit. It was just nasty. <laughs> okay, please talk about something okay, more let's magical. Move on, right? Get our mind oh off my of gosh, jackfruit. Right, let me get your mind onto something more fun and way more creative than hot jackfruit. <laughs> Sounds really bad, doesn't it? I think it? Hot Jack Fruit's playing at the uh, Food and Wine <laughs> is, Festival. Is that the next group coming up? Uh -huh. We should go She's see them. Yeah, she She's you want. want. <laughs> anyway, Unlocked Animation, you guys. We have so much fun. Jason Zucker is a Disney animator, and he is phenomenal. He is the one who came to our retreat back in um, December. And so he does a special Unlocked Animation. Um, we try to do it the first Monday of the month, but we're like first or second Monday. It depends on if there's a holiday that's thrown in there. But so this past one we did, and you can see the little guy behind me who was 89 years old. We did a tribute to Donald Duck. And I have to say, it was probably my favorite show because first of all, I love the story of Donald Duck. I love his attitude. He's one of my favorites. But also, personally, my portrait came out really impressive. I will put up on the show. That's why Carrie loved the show. <laughs> That's why. I mean, to the point where yeah. every other show, Jason's like, 
yeah, good. Anyway, and he moves on when he sees mine. To this time, he was like, wow. And I said, I know. It, it actually came out pretty good. So it's so fun. So our next Where is it? Unlocked Animation, I'll, I'll put it up on the show. Okay. I'll put it up. But our next Unlocked Animation is going to be Monday, July 10th. Um, we gave a little teaser of who we are drawing this time. And um, it's got to do with summer. And it's somebody worth melting for. Ah. So Rick Springfield? No. <laughs> yes! We are drawing 85-year-old Rick Springfield. No, and Jeff did say that Rick Springfield is 75, 72, 73. Sorry, Mr. Springfield. We, we apologize. Yeah, yeah, we apologize. Well, yeah, it is He's a big fan. <laughs> June, July, so that means we yeah. are... Halfway to Christmas. Halfway, halfway to, to the, the holidays. holidays. <laughs> and there's so much going on. Derek, you printed out, what, like eight pages of all the events? I printed out. There's so much stuff. And I even thought about wearing like a Christmas oh, sweater today. Oh, that would be cute. Today, but no. It's, it's so too hot. hot outside. It is hot. It's like 100 it degrees It is 100 out. degrees. Yeah. It's as hot as the jackfruit. So it's I said, I'm <laughs> Hot as a jackfruit. So, yes, I love it. The big news, I think, of all the holiday parties, because of course Mickey's you know, Christmas party yeah. is yeah. coming back. Right. And there'll be stuff at Epcot's and all that. But yeah. I think the big news was the new holiday party at Disney's yeah. Hollywood Studios yeah. that is called, and I know it has a name. What was it called? Like Jollywood Studios? Jollywood. Jollywood, Jollywood mm-hmm. Nights. Disney Jollywood Nights. So, so they'll cute. have special characters and entertainers and all this stuff. This intrigued me very much so. I thought this was super cool. It was. I can go and encounter glitz and glamour at two limited capacity experiences, including, of course, one at the Brown Derby. But this one, mm-hmm. ch- check this one out. An otherworldly soiree at the Hollywood Tower Hotel Courtyard. No. Isn't that cool? Very That's cool. That's included with the ticket? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, That's what Yeah, says. we need to go. Let's get tickets and go. That would be so much I fun. I think it's show research. Such I, a great, I think yeah. we owe it yeah. to the audience. We do. To it's make a great sure that use we do. Leave it in the it's comment so if we get enough people voting us yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> to that is, that's back. our argument. Yeah, <laughs> we'll report back on it. That's amazing. It starts November 11th. So, so fun. Yeah, perfect. Starts November 11th and tickets are anywhere from, yikes. One fifty nine to one seventy nine per person. Have you person. bought a Disney ticket lately? I know Derek? that's like, that's, that's about that's normal. about right. I yeah. have my annual passes. I don't go to the private parties. <laughs> you don't go to the private <laughs> parties and, unless work will arrange for me to go and experience it. I um, understand. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, another that's thing right announced with all of that is all of the new um, holiday events and shows happening on Disney Cruise Line, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. there are a ton of those. They actually just opened up the dates to book those cruises. So if you are looking to do a very merry time sailing. So we need fun. to do that too. Let's do it. Let's do <laughs> that. Now's the time that. to do it. Yeah. Um, but with that note, we are on to our, be our guest vacation, oh, right? So if you're looking to do a cruise, yeah. that is the team to do it. But rather mm-hmm. than us tell you all about how to book with them or right. who to book with, let's introduce you to our very special guest, British Hill. Hello, everybody. Hi, hey. Hi, hello, hello. Friend hello. British. It's about time. We're so excited to have you here. Like, Marissa <laughs> wanted you on day one of your first start date. Marissa's like, she's starting on this day. We're going to have her on the show. I remember. And then we moved it. <laughs> so you've been here for a little bit now. Yeah, I think it's what, been about maybe three months? No, it hasn't mm-hmm. even been 90 days, you guys. Mm-mm. Because I'm like counting from, you know, the first 90 days kind of thing. And it hasn't even been so wow. I feel like you feel like, like you've been here for years right. and years already, right? <laughs> I kinda That's do. a good thing. In a, in a, in a, in the best possible yeah. way. Yes. So, Aww. but I'm really happy to be here, and thanks for having me on the show. I I am a fan. I watch <laughs> it, and when I first um, in that the first couple of weeks of joining the world of DVC and uh, be our guest vacations, which we'll talk about. Honestly, I would watch your show to learn a lot about, you know, the company overall. So. Thank you. Nice to know we're informative. And it's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> we try. It's entertaining. Get you know, out uh. a little comic relief from my friend Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say. I'm trying. Uh-huh. If I could work in jackfruit in any way, shape, or form into any Or hot, hot, hot jackfruit. jackfruit. It's got to be hot jackfruit. <laughs> So, British, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us where you're from. How did you wind up? I know you had a path at Disney, which is where we all crossed paths with you, blessed enough. And now you're here with us. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. Well, so um, I've been down here in Florida for, I can't believe it, we were just counting the other day, so about... 
21 years living in Florida. Wow. I relocated oh here, um, what, 2000, 2001, somewhere mm -hmm. around in there, 20 to 23 years I've been here, but I'm from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So I am a, a true Chicagoan, and um, that's where my whole family lives. That's where I grew up. That's where, you know, it runs in my blood, mm -hmm. and I love my city. But I Except am, the cold. Except that that <laughs> the wind is and the, cold. the part. Yeah. I live okay. there. I live there for like 30, oh, right. 40 years. Yeah. Derek, I forgot. That's uh. right. Yeah, no. Yeah, that part. But other than that, it's just the best. In Spring my and fall are fantastic. And they pile <laughs> every. And you know this too, because it, and that's actually one of the cool things about Chicago. And then we'll move on. But <laughs> to your point, Derek, they they pile everything into like three months. <laughs> you got three months for every possible festival, every music show, every barbecue picnic, anything you want to do. Because you then got you have three to stay inside, and then you stay inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too cold to go out. So because everything fun is piled on yeah. it into 90 days, yeah. it's, can you imagine? It's a blast. You're busy. Yeah, you're busy. <laughs> it's like every weekend something's going on. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I've been here for a while. Absolutely love Florida, love Orlando. Um, moved here originally um, for a, a job. It was for work. It was um, Home Shopping Network is where I started. That's what brought little me here. A little old place called HSN. <laughs> little old place. Just Otherwise, a little place called HSN. HSN. Yeah. yeah. And at that time, I'd never been here. I'd never even visited Florida. Oh, my God. I didn't God. know a single person. Never been to Walt Disney World. Wow. My first visit was as an adult. Wow. Yeah, yeah. With my son, whom Julian was maybe, well, he was 10 when we moved here. Mm -hmm. My son, who is now 30. Um, now married. <laughs> and married. Yes, um, but it was with Julian, who was 10, 11 years old, first time mm -hmm. at, at Magic Kingdom, and my grandmother, who was um, close to 90 years old oh, uh, for the first time. That's, yeah. one of, that's my favorite. That's my Disney memory with my Absolutely. grandma crying, mm -hmm. looking at the castle. What so was beautiful. like, when you talk about favorite memory, what was the moment <sighs> that was like, that encaptures that memory? Yeah, yeah. So God bless her soul, my, my wonderful grandma. We were always very, very close, Miss Allen. And so she came to visit me at the time she was still traveling. I mean, she was doing really, you know, all the way up until like about 87 years old. Oh. Mama got around. She was oh, traveling, cruising and wonderful. everything. And so to uh, uh, your question, Marissa, my favorite mo the moment was when we were watching, we were looking at fireworks, Magic Kingdom. Can't remember what the show was called at the time, but um, everything was being projected onto the castle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you picture it, it's it's late, it's warm, Mama's in a wheelchair, Julian is over here at 11 years old, he's never seen it, I've never, no one's ever, it's the uh -huh. three of us. And it, but we've been Disney fans all of our life, mm -hmm. right? You know, just a heart for it. And um, the moment was when Jiminy Cricket, you know, started to narrate, right? We know that wishes. show. Wishes. 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 Derek, wishes. The best wishes. firework show oh. The best one. Time. Do you best think one. that too? I yes. do. 100%. I didn't know that. I thought you yeah. were happily, I love no. happily ever after, but I think wishes. happily ever after wishes. caught like a millennial crowd that kind of took yeah. off and ran with yep. it because yeah. it had heart, but I think yep. they were all too... Young. Young for wishes. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. Wishes. Yeah. Oh. That's my favorite. Okay. Yeah. And it's... so, mama, so I'm just like, mm. and they well, they have mine in that one, yes. too. Yes. Mm. That's the one that Walt Disney spoke, too. Yes. He yeah. spoke at the that's end right. of it. That's right. Oh, there's and that's so many probably a lot of the, to love it. Yeah. The reason with my grandma, I was feeling it all well and up. And here at the time, I'm like this early 30 something year old woman. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, am I going to cry? And <laughs> so I'm starting to feel a certain kind of way. And Julian is just like, oh. Ah, so excited, little eleven year old, and then there, and I look over it and called her mama. I looked over at mama, and she was crying oh. in her wheelchair <laughs> at almost ninety. And I said, "Mom, yeah. are you okay?" And she's like, "This is so beautiful, Brent." Oh. And so that is yeah. will be forever in my heart. Very special. Yeah. Oh no, no I, I, right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we need a moment. That's beautiful. You never know when the magic yeah. will kind of just encapsulate you and just just bring out that emotion. Even yeah. I think the hardest of people sometimes like, I don't believe in this Disney magic. It's like, you will. You will. You will. It's yeah. true. That's oh, true. that's wonderful. So, so how, how did you come, British, then, from seeing your first ever Disney 
experience. Mm-hmm. And so then you became a Disney Vacation Club guide, right? That's right. Yeah. That's For right. Disney Vacation Club. Yeah, yeah. So my trek to Orlando, so it started really in, in the Tampa Bay area. Again, I was working for HSN, had a nice, long, great career with them. Um, and Shelby, you guys all know, my husband, um, born and raised in Orlando. Mm-hmm. So my in-laws were here, family, friends. We would travel, we would drive from mm-hmm. Tampa to Orlando all the time for shows mm-hmm. and to visit family, not knowing that one day we would be relocating here. <laughs> and then it was the 2008, eight nine, the whole craziness of that time and period mm-hmm. in life where major changes happened for many of us. Mm-hmm. And um, life changes happened at work, and um, I we felt like it was the right opportunity to make the relocation because there were a bunch of layoffs and stuff like that. And so fast forward, I said, well, if I'm going to move to Orlando, Julian was getting ready to go off to college. I said, um, i got to work for Disney if I'm going to be in Orlando because it was always like the secret mm-hmm. desire of right. mine mm-hmm. if and when Love the time it. was right. Yeah. And this was the time. And I literally started... What I always like, I'm proud of the story um, from the ground up. I mean, I, because you know how Disney is. It's like you got to get in where you can fit in. Mm-hmm, like you mm-hmm. just don't know. And so I literally started at Disney Reservation Center. Mm-hmm. I was at DRC in a class mm. with a whole bunch of displaced people in 2008, 2009. And that's the big call center. Yes. That's where all the calls that's come right. in for anything that's basically right. yeah, Walt absolutely. Disney World related that's um, right. but, and, and about book go ahead no no yeah. it's true it's a big call yeah. thank you for explaining mm-hmm. that it's the big call center mm-hmm. for booking Disney vacations and it was the best place for me to start with Disney because I was able to learn yeah mm-hmm. I was just gonna say everything, right. everything. It's perfect yeah everything you learn there every yeah. single thing best opportunity in the world and so I did that for several years actually you know worked as a reservation uh, sales agent mm-hmm. there uh, very proudly and then uh, very quickly after starting with them moved into leadership where I worked as a sales and service leader over teams at DRC mm-hmm. but there was always this desire to because um, I always worked in sales and so I said well I learned about Disney Vacation Club DVC and found out that there was an opportunity to be something called a Disney Vacation Club guide mm-hmm. And I was just intrigued. And mm-hmm. I think I even went to some kind of information thing or something Probably. to learn more. Mm-hmm. And I started to network within the company to learn more, met with a couple of leaders over at DVC. There was nothing available at the time, and I was patient for about a year. Mm-hmm. Went through the interview process and just went straight over to DVC. Those jobs come. sometimes can be incredibly hard. Competitive. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Well, so Extremely competitive. British yeah. and I were in the same training class that's together. Right. And so that's where we met at Disney Vacation we Club. Were? We yeah. were. But so what's crazy is six months before us was the first training class they'd had, I don't know, in like five years, right? six years. And so they basically they went on a hiatus where they didn't, I think since 2009, mm-hmm. they didn't hire any. And because the sales guides that were there were like, we are here for life. We are not moving. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so nobody left. <laughs> Everyone just sat and hung on. Yeah. And then they, they were like, well, we're not hiring anyone else. And so it was like a six-year span. Yeah. And so we came in in 2014, yeah. which kind of lines up with that time frame. And so the class before us was a little bit larger. And then they were like, okay, we can let just a few more people in for training. Yeah. So our class had five people. Yeah, yeah. yeah wow. it was very yeah, small. Yeah, five people in our class. Yeah. Yeah. And so we were – and. It was very much like presented to us during our training that this isn't normal. Mm-hmm. Nobody gets this mm-hmm. job. You are very lucky. Yes. And yeah. You better appreciate it. And we like we it was like an honor yeah. to yeah. be part so of true. Disney Vacation Club at that time. And mm-hmm. I'm sure it still is today, but mm-hmm. I think that kind of propels you in a different way as you mm-hmm. move forward with DVC members, right? Mm-hmm. Totally. With even how we work within World of DVC mm-hmm. and be our guest vacations. Mm-hmm. You, you've kind of been given this chance to like say, hey, you got this opportunity that is rare. Mm-hmm. That's right. No one gets. And so you kind of get this experience that very few people get. And it was before a time where I think a lot has changed with Disney Vacation Club. Right. And mm-hmm. we got access to just so many cool things from yeah. like special events and presentations. Yep. Yeah. British was like the model for this whole program that they were creating, it, it kind of went to the wayside. But, of course, with her skill set of presenting and all of that, they're creating a whole new program for yeah. her with that, yeah. which was really cool. Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, the opportunities within Disney Vacation Club as a guide was just fantastic. And it really was, you know, my favorite at working at Disney. Um, and it was because of, first of all, that exclusivity. You're so right. Thank you for telling that story. It was so special to even get the role. And so there was this pride in being able to, 
represent the brand in the way that we did, you know, with the members mm -hmm. and meeting people down in the parlors. Yes. Remember, they come yes. in and we're part of the vacation um, and uh, working at all the resorts. And then my most coveted favorite part of being a vacation <laughs> club guide, and you all know this, at least three of us sitting here, yeah. right? <laughs> you know where I'm going, is when I was uh, able to move into the um, cruise guide mm -hmm. role where we were still presenting mm -hmm. and selling this Disney Big meeting members all from all around the world, but it was on the ship. And it, 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 that was a very different role. It, it almost made it almost impossible to come back and work of on course, land. Right? To be quite I, think for, I think for all That's of us. Another yeah. story. <clears throat> you got so to different. use just, in, I think the three of us were all cruise guides, right? Yeah. And so you got to use this, like, this muscle in, yes. you know, in the mm -hmm. Disney space where you got to meet people face to face, lots of people, and yeah. present. And it just, it was just an amazing way to to tell people about Disney Vacation Club. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very hard to come back. It's so hard. <laughs> and, it, and it was just so, I always tell the story of how that, and I came back and I presented, did a lot of group presentations um, mm -hmm. at Walt Disney World. Right. And mm -hmm. that's what Marissa's talking about, that position where I was, you know, going around to the parks and the resorts talking to groups about our program. And that was great too. Um, but it was something <laughs> But you're not about, on a ship. <laughs> I was about to say. But there was something about being on that ship, you know, mm -hmm. you you, you go to bed in whatever country and wake up in another country and, and, and another island. and But it was it was special. My favorite way. I remember meeting British during that time when you came back to do the group presentation. Yes. Because I was not part of the cruise team, but I was a land guide. And I remember hearing your name and someone said British Hill is coming back. And she's going to be pioneering this group presentation all around Walt Disney World. And I was like, I love her name, mm. British Hill. Like, that's a great... I, Kind of like Marissa's dress. I was like, I need to know British because I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that name. And and someone said, Oh, you'll love British. And they were walking away. Said, oh, she worked at DRC and and she worked at HSN. And 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 I heard HSN. I said, Wait, wait, as what? And they said, As, as presenter. Yeah. And so me growing up, I used to walk around my house and like take items and be like, This lamp is a one two three four five, and it can be yours for fifty nine ninety five. <laughs> and my mother would be like, Who are you talking to? I'm like, My audience. Wow. And I would play like Your poor parents. I know, I would, like I would sell everything in their house, and I just, that's what, that was what I wanted to do. I was like, I want to be on, you know, the Home Shopping Network and sell and talk, and because uh, you're around beautiful things all the time. And so then I met British, and was just enamored, right, by just who you are. And do you remember, too, a, year, a few years later, after you came back, mm -hmm. and you sold your desk and office chair. <laughs> How can I forget? Yes. British sold her desk and office chair, and I had just moved, and I was going to put a little office together for myself, but I just needed something kind of just quick for the time being because I was working from home, and I see British as sounds, and I was like, I want to sit in this woman's seat. <laughs> <laughs> right? I want to type at British's desk. And so I did. I bought it, and I she said, did. British, is that for sale, and is that still available? And she was like, girl, it's yours. I'm like, so I called my friend Lauren. I'm like, Lauren, I need your SUV, and we, and we did. We got it. You did. I still have the desk. It, and I love that desk. I love that First desk, First of all, too. the desk was super cute. Yeah. You had the white chair, it's, remember? Yes, the But I was redecorating yeah. it and, and redecorating in that <laughs> office. And, of course, I probably had called Marissa to ask her some you know, recommendations. <laughs> She's like, get That's rid of that desk. a whole other connection we have. <laughs> hey, Marissa, so I'm thinking about changing these curtains. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> that was our connection. British That's and I, we, like, we would go, like, six months without talking. Right. And then she's like, so what do you think about my sofa? <laughs> Here's what you need to do. <laughs> it's true, but it was it was great because we, yeah. we we connected and mm -hmm. then you pulled up into the driveway. I drive and I had put everything out. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh! So again, we were able to hug after oh, having yeah. seen each other, and it is something about that, you know, the Disney connection and oh, the yeah. friendships um, that we make. I mean, even as life goes on and as, as we oftentimes mm -hmm. say, you, you know, you may leave the Disney bubble yeah. or leave the Disney world. You still, I think every single one of us still have connections mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to someone yep. or many from when we worked for yep. Disney. There's a connection even like Danny was part of my training class. Yep. You two are part of each other's training yeah. class. But I think and I'll Marissa, jump in really quick yeah. on the Danny part. Yeah. Cause this, yeah. this yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it, we, we go, we always go back to like episode one, right? Like yeah. you, you, never you never know, know. where the name tag will That's take right. you. Gosh. And so with like, when I met British, British had all this experience, like life experience, sales experience, presentation experience. And so I quickly was like, 
she's my mentor. Like we we were assigned mentors of people who had like done Disney Vacation Club, and I was like, yeah, but I have her in my training <laughs> class. Like this is my mentor, <laughs> and so like I would go like hide in her little cubby in her office, and I'd be like, I met, I have a brain block, and she'd be like, what are you eating? How are you working out? What do you do to clear your mind? And I was like. Okay, this is what I need to do. And so we, like, I, it was kind of like this big sister relationship mm-hmm. that we grew with. And mm-hmm. so when I was leaving cruise team, I always joke because I told the um, the leaders, I was like, I'll find someone to replace me. Because I was leaving because I was having my son, Caden, yeah. so I couldn't stay on the team. Yeah. And so I was like, don't worry, I'll find somebody to replace me. And it was Danny. And it's funny because the same thing happened when I left really kind of that day-to-day sales role with DVC Resale Market, I told Nick, don't worry, I have somebody to replace me. So Danny is kind of like, I everywhere I go, yeah. I'm like, oh, you're in good hands, yeah. you have Danny. Yeah. You're and her so big sister. Danny's yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah, and yeah. so like you're I'm right. her big sister in that. And yeah, so she was right. coming on cruise team, and she's like, because cruise team, you find a partner. And that partner is somebody who you cruise mm-hmm. and sail with all the time. And so Danny had said, I don't know how I'm going to find a partner. No one who's experienced will want to work with me Mm -hmm. because I'm new. And Mm -hmm. so a lot of the experienced sales agents were like, no, we're going to stick with more experience Mm -hmm. and then we'll succeed together Mm -hmm. as a partnership. Mm -hmm. And she said, no one's going to want to work with me. I'm brand new. No one knows. And I was like, oh, girl, you can sell better than anyone. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'll find you a partner. So then like one day I grab Danny. I walk over to British's cubby. We sit in the seats, (laughs) the little sister seats. (laughs) That's right. right. British, this is your new cruise partner. (laughs) Danny, this is British. She'll take you even though you're new. She's experienced. You're going to be a great pair. And they have been best oh, friends ever love since. It. Every love set. It. It's so true. It was, I remember it. It was a great, it, it, because I, I think we were in one of those periods where we were selecting partners, remember? Mm-hmm. And you're right. Every The, the typical partners, it's like, you're going to work. They, they already, and I... For whatever reason, I was actually getting ready to work with, and, and Marissa did put a stop. And she's like, wait, before you even do that, I've got your partner. I know, and I I know never, a guy. Yeah, I know a guy. I know, and a, guy. I know a guy. And and so Danny and I came together, and it was, talk about a marriage. It yeah. was as if we had been friends mm-hmm. and together forever. And we complimented one another, even in the presentation and sales process. Mm-hmm. You know, the job, the work itself, um, aside from just bonding and connecting, yeah. we did the work really well together. And um, we, so now Danny and I, I mean, we can do, just do a whole show as oh, well yeah. about our experiences together around the world. <laughs> around the world with Danny and British. I think that goes back to Marissa's point too about Disney Vacation Club and when you come in, yeah. it's not a class of 100. It's not even a class yeah. of 30. Yeah. It's such a small group and you do feel very special. Mm-hmm. You know that if you're in this seat, you, this was a competitive seat to sit in and if you're sitting there, there's they saw something and yeah. because of that I feel like there's so many like-mindedness that we're all different so true but we're all very like-minded in that we've all kind of stuck together it's crazy mm-hmm. well and there's that, that surreal we we have an episode coming out soon in Unlock Magic yeah um, and British joined us for that and we went yeah. to the California Grill mm. not to give it all away mm. but there was kind of that surreal moment sitting mm-hmm. at dinner to say like we're all here yeah. right and like mm-hmm. some of my favorite people, some of the most talented people that I have ever met in my working like career, yeah. mm-hmm. all sit around the same table mm-hmm. now. And that was like this surreal moment oh, you of don't like, have to say that about uh, me. That's I was not <laughs> <laughs> But it's and I think yeah. for those of you who audience watching and it's just you get to deal with a special team yeah. when you're entering like the world of so DVC, true. whether you're working with our rental store team or our sales team, or you see kind of the reflection that Carrie's passed down just as director of staff to all of our team members. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to get that same experience with Mm -hmm. Be Our Guest Vacation of just really like the best of the best, not just like great salespeople, right? Just like quality people Mm -hmm. who bring like the highest level Mm -hmm. of quality and service to what they do. Mm -hmm. Quality, care, um, interest, personalization, all of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's so. So for those, and if I could ask this, because there might be some folks that are s- sitting at home and they hear about Be Our Guest Vacations yeah. and they sit and say, okay, that's a travel agent. But yep. Derek, I don't use a travel agent. Yeah. You know, why would I reach out to mm-hmm. British and the team there when there's so many options for me just to be able to do everything online or I'm a planner with my spreadsheets? Tell the folks at home just how important it is for them to be able to reach out to you no matter your level of Disney expertise, whether yep. you're going for the first time right. or whether you're going right. for your hundredth time, you guys can help them. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I mean, there, I, what I love about World of DVC, just our company period, is that there is an opportunity for support and, and help with your travel. Mm-hmm. 
in so many different areas, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So if you're a Disney Vacation Club, you know, member, or if you're, you know, there's so many different ways. But there are times when what you need is a travel agent, someone mm -hmm. who can help you with a vacation that may not have anything to do with anything else except I want to go to Disney, mm -hmm. um, or I have friends or family that would like to go to Disney. The reason why it's so important to have um, an authorized Disney travel agency like Be Our Guest Vacations is because, quite frankly, it's complicated. It is. <laughs> things Just a have bit. very complicated. Yes. It, things have changed. I mean, they change I, constantly all too. the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had been away from working. <laughs> I mean, that's a simple way. To, now there's more under that, but that is the, the the overarching reason why working with Be Our Guest Vacations uh, is so important. Uh, when you're, it's because we're going to be there to help you figure it all out. Um, you know, people will ask, have actually called me and asked the question of, okay, what is, what is Genie Plus? Was that Carrie the call? <laughs> <laughs> British, don't give away all that. Did you know? It's the people same line. Do, you know? do I need? Is the, there a difference? This? Is there a difference? What is going on? Lightning? Is that the same as? Thank okay. You. Well, now we throw in di yeah. the dining. T oh, oh gosh, why can't I say this? Dining, the, not dining. The, dining the dining plan. Dining plan. The dining plan. Yes. That thing. That we got thing you. where you we got eat you. food. <laughs> and you pay ahead of time. What's it called? What's yeah. The dining plan. And that just came out. And that's different oh. than what people remember it to be. And it's just, there's so much. Park yeah. reservations, just all of it. Is, do know, I need reservations? Right. That's the other part. Well, I heard next year I don't need I reservations. Don't need yep. So do we still need them today? So, I mean... Just those questions. I literally had that exact same question on Friday See? when yeah. I said to Annie and goes, let's go to Epcot today. And she goes, do we need to make a park reservation? Right. And I'm like, I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I'm going to call British yeah. and I'm going to ask her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you? Yeah. You had to make a park reservation? Yeah, okay. still at yeah. this okay. point. So, so the, <laughs> Thank <laughs> British. That, that could change. That will change. But these are all, and we're, we're laughing and, and, you know, fun making fun with this, but it is the reason mm -hmm. why. Yeah. Using Be Our Guest Vacation Travel Advisors is definitely um, to your advantage because we are going to take the guesswork out of how to do Disney. Right. Yeah. And so that you can just concentrate on having fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other part, it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. Bingo. That is Bingo. a big deal. You know, that's a really big uh, misconception. I actually had that question mm -hmm. myself yeah. uh, some years ago. I was, well, why would I use a travel agency now? I can do everything myself online. That was one thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you can go in there and just book something. But then when you go online, you're like, okay, what do I book? Right. Is this the best price? Yeah. Be Our Guest Vacation Travel Advisors can tell you, you know, help you through that process. But it's, it's just taking the guesswork out, Derek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't cost anything to do it. You know, we get paid from Disney, not from you. And right. that's the other thing that's important. It's having know. an expert yeah. Yeah. to hold your hand, to walk you through it for as much or as little as you need. That's right. And you're not paying for any of it. Yeah. And yeah. there is that that misconception that it is kind of like like when you look at like travel agencies right of like that office where somebody walks in mm -hmm. and then yeah. you sit down and you're like what is the fee what is it going to be mm -hmm. there's a lot of unknown Correct. And, and there are some like different like fields of travel agents that maybe do different areas that do charge fees right, right? Sure. and so with be our guest vacation it is all free it mm -hmm. is just all added layers to your vacation that you get just for booking with them mm -hmm. so if you're gonna do a vacation do it with a travel agent because exactly. they yeah. know everything. Mm -hmm. They'll give you that advice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was mentioning I did the Disney Wish Tour mm -hmm. and even going on board and we were on during Embarkation Day, which mm -hmm. is like the madness day, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so whether that is guest services or walking into Luna Lounge mm -hmm. and seeing all those people in line and you see all the guys behind the computer and they're booking their spa. Right. They're booking their Apollo. They're trying to get into Enchanté. Yeah. And those are things that when you're using a travel agency, you're not spending your embarkation date. This is on a three-day cruise. Oh, right. Nobody wants to get on the cruise and then try to stand book everything. Right. Oh, right. So and they even do that? For yeah. They do that for, for you. They'll yeah. book it ahead of time yeah. for you. Plus, for they cruise. give you yes. perks, like oh, different dude. promotions, yes. onboard credit. Yeah. So it's like... Yep. <laughs> no, you're going to book that cruise with them. You're going to get an mm -hmm. onboard credit. You're, they're going to make sure you get the lowest deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. And then you're going to go on vacation. Yeah. That's right. Go get some drinks with exactly. that money. <laughs> yeah. Instead of sitting in Luna Walk Lounge. Walk by Luna Lounge exactly. with your drink and go hey. up to the deck and relax because it's yeah. done. It's yeah. done for That's you. That's great. 
That's and you, great. I mean, you so well said. I mean, you have a partner from beginning to yeah. end. You know, um, a, a lot of our families now, and you may be one of them, it's, it's actually, you know, thinking about next year, 2024 is vacation. Well, mm -hmm. you know, right now, our travel advisors, my team, they're all busy taking care of vacation packages for next year. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, this is when you want to connect to one of our one mm -hmm. of our experts. And the great thing, too, is, you know, our team, our expert, you, you get essentially connected with one. You know, unlike, I mean, listen, working at Disney Reservation Center, I, that was my personal experience. It was great. But honestly, we were on and off the phone and on to the next and uh -huh. on to the next and on to the next. And I didn't, um, you know, I wasn't speaking yeah. to my same uh, family. Right. Uh, it was different people every time. And, and so there's a place for that. But boy, oh boy, it's something nice about knowing that if, say, for example, Carrie is a travel advisor, she's an expert, she knows the Disney product. That's the other thing. Be Our Guest Vacation um, travel advisors, they, they're not just, you know, on paper. They actually know mm -hmm. what it's like to eat at these restaurants, to go to the rope drop for the parks. What's it like? Do you need to be there at 7 a.m. or do you need to be there at 9 a.m.? Right. That kind mm -hmm. of thing. But when you book your package, your cruise, say, for example, with Carrie, mm -hmm. if you were on the, working with us on the team, you stay with her the whole time. The whole time. Mm -hmm. You're not talking to 50 different agents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you get, and she gets to know you, you get to know her. And so there's something about that. Too. Definitely. Yeah. You don't get that a whole lot anymore. Yeah. You're kind of passed around when you're doing a process of that, that size. Yeah. But to have that one advisor that sticks with you and then you get to have, you know, go back for more and yeah. send them pictures. And I'm sure that the agents love to see that too, it's the true. memories that they've helped to create it's as so well. Yeah. yeah. Well, so well, and I think great, too, great when benefit. you look at the things we love about Disney, right, there's things we love. And then we all know like one area of Disney that can always use a little bit of improvement. And I think that's like their technology, right? Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> where like, but I mean, to their defense, you've got like hundreds of thousands right. and millions and of people trying to trying book to, right. that same thing that yeah. you are, yeah. right? So the website isn't the fastest. It's not the most like efficient. They don't have great apps. Again, mm -hmm. it's th there's we know from the inside of Disney that there's many steps that you have to take with mm -hmm. all of that. But because of that, as a regular guest, right, going to try to do that on your own, you could say, well, a Disney cruise, how hard is that to book? Or an Adventures mm -hmm. by Disney, yeah. I can take care of that. Mm -hmm. But then the frustration of like you get to go to check out and then like the the dwarfs are walking by and it's like uh oh mm -hmm. <laughs> the mine is down or yeah. whatever that yeah and then you're like what I just <laughs> need to book this right and so you know the stress or if you've called Disney in the last three years you know like the, the waiting on hold mm -hmm. for on average yeah. you know yeah. it's going to be an hour to two hours yeah and so not having to do that right. to me personally yeah that's time. your biggest win mm -hmm. it's your time because yeah. you're trying to plan something that should be like magical mm -hmm. and like stress free. But all the stress built up beforehand, mm -hmm. it's not worth it when somebody else can just do it for you right. for free. And that's so right. that's a huge benefit. And I know a lot of our audience is Disney Vacation Club members. Right. So maybe you're not using kind of that Disney World side of booking. But we know all of you are doing other vacations. Yes. DVC members are the most famous for mm -hmm. vacationing because you know how to vacation. Mm -hmm. you've, you've got that in your schedule. So if you are doing other things, the Be Our Guest Vacation team, obviously Disney Cruises, right? Adventures by Disney. If you haven't branched out and done those amazing oh there's some of the, I, yeah. I would argue they're the yeah, best Disney vacations so that mm -hmm. exist mm -hmm. but British your team does other things outside of Disney as well yeah we absolutely do yeah definitely those adventures by Disney I mean that can be complicated as well like mm -hmm. which one do I take is there one that fits my budget mm -hmm. you know is there, are there what are the adventures by Disney experiences that are you know best for children mm -hmm. or not things like that and so we have advisors on the team that's taken adventures by Disney mm -hmm. and so they know what to do and that's the other thing too um you know we have agents that are specialized in the cruise category we have agents that also again have the adventures by disney experience mm -hmm. those that say oh everything and anything walt disney world parks period point blank that is my jam send them on over i know where they should mm -hmm. eat where they would hotel is the right one so i i love the fact that there is some specialization in there as well 
um, in terms of experience. Right. So there's just so many different opportunities and so many Do they reasons. do non-Disney trips too? Yeah. So like Royal okay. Caribbean cruises, okay. um, we're starting to do more of those. We actually have a couple of agents that um, know how to book those and they've had those experiences. We are every day um, looking to grow in those areas. Um, so to your point, we are wanting to branch out and are branching out into other vacations as well. Other cruise lines, Virgin, Universal. Yeah, Universal Again, Studios. Again, we know so many of our DVC members are adding on Universal. They so are. you're adding mm-hmm. on, especially as we get into kind of this holiday season. Right. We know many of you are doing Halloween Horror Nights or adding on to like mm-hmm. the holiday mm-hmm. festivities. Mm-hmm. Derek laughs because he's got like this big <laughs> VIP. Tour. Did you book that yet with British? No, <laughs> <laughs> but Let I need to reach out to us. For you. I think those little add-ons is, is so true, Marissa. I was yeah. looking the other day at the Adventures by Disney and didn't realize that I've taken Adventures by Disney a long time ago, but now there's the Adventures Escape, is it called? Yeah, yeah the where Escape, you can the add shorter on trips. The shorter trips, yeah. two days here, two days there. So maybe it's not all Walt Disney World. Maybe it's a little Disney World and Universal. How do you do that and make that work? Yeah. Maybe it's a little Disney World, a Disney Cruise Line, come back to Walt Disney yeah. World. That's what I love about your team yeah. is that they're experts in kind of putting together like this perfect picture yeah. of this puzzle of what – you know, and you can still have your Excel spreadsheets. We know that people love their Excel spreadsheets. You just have a helper and a planner and a friend to guide you to say, this is what you're going to do here, there, and yeah. we'll book this and take care of that. And you go get your drink instead of going to the Luna Lounge, you know, and booking your <laughs> excursions. You've got that covered. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I love that you said that, too, because, again, it's it's a pretty good chance you're watching the show right now. You you know Disney, right? You right. know, a, a, a great chunk. There's some of you out there that may be, well, no, I'm learning. But there's others, I get you, that say, I know how to do my Disney vacation. Mm-hmm. I've been doing this a long time. But I love that you said that. And that is, we are here to support you wherever you are. The agents will meet you where you are, meaning that yeah. no one's going to just say, okay, and take over the vacation and right. tell you what you're doing right. and that kind of stuff. No. You have a partner. Mm-hmm. That's really how you want to look look at this. Mm-hmm. Um, book your vacation with us, and then let us be your partner. Uh, the initial um, experience, it starts out with the agents asking you some key questions. Um, it can be, you know, a lot of the initial part is just right over email because everybody is so busy as well. And a lot of our um, guests, our customers, love the fact that we'll send an email and say, okay, fill out some of these questions because we want to start out right. knowing mm-hmm. at least some of the basics. How right. long are you planning to vacation for? Do you have any particular resort in mind? Who's coming with? Are there any children? What is Harry Potter Land located at Universal or, <laughs> or Magic, Magic Kingdom? Kingdom? Yeah. <laughs> but I love to I that you'll also call question. out, like, yeah. are you in the military, right? Are you yeah. in a residence? Do you have an annual pass? Yeah. Because I think that's another big misconception mm-hmm. is, well, right now there's a special for Disney Cruise Line for 30% for Florida residents, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'll just book that myself because – the travel agent the travel won't get can't that. Do that. Yeah. And they can. Yeah. They can they get can you all those that. same promotions, mm-hmm. again, plus all the perks and benefits right. that they offer. Yeah. So don't be kind of confused. Yeah. If there are promotions, they're still going to be matching those for you yeah. as well. In fact, um, not only are we going to make sure that you get the best possible promotion package price that Disney's offering, Universal's offering, um, but we also know that promotions change. New mm-hmm. ones come up. Here's another really important thing. So if you're thinking about, okay, yeah, it's the 20, middle of 2023. What am I? What are we doing next year? Should we be booking our Disney vacation at Walt Disney World or my Disney cruise for next year already? Yes, book it now. Mm-hmm. Because chances are you're going to get the best possible price mm-hmm. now. Don't wait. Mm-hmm. Don't, and, and not only that, the cabins, the, the rooms you want, and yeah, things like that. But mm-hmm. here's something else to remember. If by chance there is a new promotion that is applicable to your vacation package, maybe later in the year, you book it with us now, what's this, you know, whatever month we're in, June, June. later in the year, and something comes up, because you are already connected to your travel advisor at Be Our Guest Vacations, we take it upon ourselves to um, go through our clients' reservations to see if that new promotion applicable to your vacation package. I love that. We will do that. We have these, um, in fact, the, the agents have, I've experienced this where it's like, oh my gosh, Disney will drop a new uh, discounted mm-hmm. promotion. Right. And it, it's a thing internally right. we call promo day and it's all hands on deck at Be Our Guest Vacations. I mean, listen, they're up at four o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. trying to be the first to be able to apply these discounts. 
Because what a lot of people don't understand is you may see that Disney promotion as an example that may come out via email or you see it on TV or whatever. There's a limited number of those promotions that's available mm -hmm. to the public. And it's a such thing as they sell out. Mm -hmm. I remember that from my DRC days, D Disney Reservation Center days. And then and if you've sat, to Marissa's point, on hold for two or three hours, right. that's a real thing. <laughs> You're ready to throw the phone by right. the end. And then you finally get <laughs> yeah. through. I mean, these are facts. I'm not even making this up. And, and you know, I used to be on the other end of that, and I'm just like, you know, that's, that's sold out. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like airplane seats, you yeah. know. It's like it was... To, you know, two hundred ninety nine dollars. Now it's five hundred ninety nine right. because we've sold all our two hundred ninety nine dollar right. airline seats. Same plane. So these are the kinds of complexities yeah. um, that, by working with a Disney authorized travel agency like Be Our Guest Vacations, we are going to weed through all that for you. We are going to sit on hold when those Disney promotions come out for you, and we're going to just make sure that yours, you know, if it applies to your vacation package, if it's going to make it less expensive, that kind of thing, then we're going to take care of it and then just send you an email or make a call or whatever and say, hey, guess what? Your Love price it. is lower. No. Huh. Easy, seamless. So, British, you've done a lot of Disney vacations and cruises. Out of all of the trips that you've taken, do you have a favorite like location, destination, or type of Disney vacation? Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it's us one more. of my favorite. Well, it, it, there's two, but then there's one that beats that. So okay. it was the Mediterranean um, mm -hmm. cruise. My husband came. It was a big birthday for me, and so we were able to celebrate while on the cruise. I, I was working, and Shelby came with me, and we had a great time. So that's. But my number one favorite destination, it's Alaska. Uh huh. Oh. It's Alaska. Yes. Always. And I didn't know that that would be my number one mm -hmm. favorite. Because when I started getting a lot, I was still working as a guide on the ships. And so then I was afforded the opportunity to do a lot of the Alaska cruises. And I thought initially, it's cold in Alaska. Why do I want to go to Alaska again? And we, <laughs> it's not like Chicago cold, but it's cold. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. That, there's something about the fact that Chicago is still colder than Alaska. Alaska. What is going on? Right. Anyway, um, but uh, listen, I fell in love with that part of the world. And I would oftentimes say, Marissa, that is this like on planet Earth? Mm. It feels like it's just not a part of no. it's it's or or it feels very frontier, maybe mm -hmm. the way it all used to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, that is my favorite, yeah. and I'm going back. So. There's like a piece about Alaska when you get up there. There's just kind of this like serene, like peaceful, and I think because yes. you strip away a lot of like the today environment, and you go to somewhere that is just older and yeah. less refined yeah. and just yeah. nature. Yeah. Um, and those but you're going back. I know. Like, yeah. And I'm going back. Are you so going back? I'm going yeah. back, Derek, in August. You are? Yeah. So on a Disney tuned. show? On a Disney She's going to go on the Disney Wonder. <laughs> the no Disney. kidding. We'll hear all um, about it. We, we will. will see it. We'll, we'll hear and see we'll all about it. We'll put a whole yeah. segment of British's mm -hmm. Travels on here, but I did want to call out a couple exciting things that we're going to be developing mm -hmm. within the world of DVC. Oh. So we know we would love to have British on here as a full-time host. Um, however, we can't steal her all to ourselves <laughs> um, because she is going to be starting her own own channel with Be Our Guest Vacation on YouTube. So make sure you are following that. Subscribe to that because there is lots of exciting adventures with British awaiting you on their very own YouTube show, again, at Be Our Guest Vacations. And Excited. then as well as following us through Facebook and Instagram, mm -hmm. Be Our Guest Vacations on Facebook, Instagram, BeOurGuestVacations.com if you want to go to their website and get any sort of quotes. Mm -hmm. And then British, if people want to reach you directly, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, I mean, you can definitely email me directly. Yep. Is that okay on yeah. the show? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's in, so you can go, well, two ways. You can do info at Be Our Guest Vacations and ask for British and, you know, we man that box. Or you can reach me directly at British at BeOurGuestVacations.com. Perfect. We'll put all of that in the show notes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to click to link out and see all of that. And if you're ready to book those next amazing yeah. stays, reach out. I mean, British has been on pretty much every Disney cruise. So if you're saying, yes. hey, I, I want to get on a Disney cruise, 
she's got all the tips right. for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we definitely. Yeah, so British, we loved having you on. Thank you. We could just sit and talk with you forever, but you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have, a, you play. we have a long standing tradition. Oh really? Okay, that's right. that's we we haven't done in a while. No. Okay. We haven't done this forever. Oh my I, think gosh. It, I can't even remember the last time we did it. Yeah, I mean, so we're revamping the long standing yes. tradition because this right. is fun. It's There's, a game fun. called this, this or that. that. Okay. Here okay. So yeah, the rules are very like simple, yeah. British. We're going to ask you two questions. Okay. You simply have to answer which one. Now, the most important thing, you are not <laughs> allowed to give a rationale of why. Oh, it is simply just... your answer okay. and your answer alone. It's one of the toughest games you'll play in your whole entire <laughs> life. <laughs> and if you give the wrong answer, I will buzz you. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. On, I will start with yeah. a few. Yeah, 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 Ready, yeah. British? Here we go. I'm ready. Long awaited return of this or that. <laughs> I just wanted to hear the jingle again. Yeah. Here we go. You win a free dinner at either Topolino's or California Grill. California Grill. Watching a Magic Kingdom fireworks from the Top of the World Lounge or from the beach at the Polynesian. Ooh, Top of the World Lounge. Okay, you get to walk right on one ride. Is it Flight of Passage at Animal Kingdom or Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind? Ooh. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that because we rode that on our VIP tour yes. together, which you'll see later. Yes. That was a no-brainer. a no-brainer. So here, ready? You get free DBC points for just a weekend stay. Are you going to pick Saratoga Springs or Old Key West? Ooh, Old Key West. Very good. Okay. You want to pick up right here? Sure. Okay. Oh, we know this answer. I know. We yes. Know Magic Kingdom Fireworks, British Wishes. Or happily ever after. <laughs> wishes. We already said wishes, it. Wishes, please. We are with our people. We are wishes people. I uh, have to ride for four hours straight. You have to ride this attraction for four hours straight. <laughs> are you riding Spaceship Earth or Living with the Land? Living with the Land. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, Grand Villa at the Grand Floridian or Grand Villa at Riviera? Ooh, Grand Floridian. I still love that. Grand Floridian, yeah. I'll do the last one. I'll hand it to Marissa. Studio at Copper Creek or studio at Boulder Ridge? Ooh, Boulder Ridge. Boulder Ridge? Yeah, for me. All right. Two-hour pontoon rental at Crescent Lake or Seven Seas Lagoon? Seven Seas Lagoon. Okay. Drink around the world at Epcot or Monorail Bar Crawl? I mean, come on. Let's just drink around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Last but not least, when at Epcot, do you start in Mexico mm. or Canada? Mm. Mexico. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're going that was the we correct answer. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Congrats, British. You're still employed. Congrats. Yeah, and I think I think she's one of the only ones who got through that without saying, "Well." Yeah, I know. You and Jeff, you followed the rules. I followed the rules. She did follow the rules. She did. So, British, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for for being here. We are so excited to have you part of the world of DVC family. We can't imagine a better fit for this perfect job than you. And you are just going to do such amazing things with your fantastic team over there. So, Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> I accept. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Love you, I British. Love All right. We got one more final thing to do. One more final thing to do. This is our long-standing oh, yeah. tradition. This is our long-standing tradition. This is our tradition. long-standing tradition. Yeah, you slide in. Oh, I'm still here? Yeah, you're, no. still, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're still good. You're still All good. Right. Okay, okay. We were like, like, up on it. We were just like, I, I don't know what we're doing. All right? Just go with you'll, it. You were on QVC, for God's sake. You can pick up real quick. HSN. 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 Just you're going to follow Jerry, please. You're going to follow Jerry, please. You're going to follow Jerry, please. You're going All right, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We had a fantastic time with you guys, as always. We look forward to seeing you next month, and we'll We'll see see you you real soon. Oh, oh, boy, British. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Please remove your headphones, step back into reality, have a magical day, and we'll see you real soon.